The UK's biggest Jewish film festival to date ended on a sugary high with the premiere of the Israeli film Cupcakes, which tells the story of a group of friends in the 70s who pen Israel's entry into a Eurovision-like song contest. Documentaries also dominated the last day with films Bessa the Promise and Dancing in Jaffa. The UK Jewish Film Festival ended on something sweet after more than two weeks of an enticing buffet of films, talks and parties. The feel-good comedy Cupcakes is a departure for Israeli director Aitan Fox. He's used to making hard-hitting dramas, often touching on themes of homosexuality and how the Israeli-Palestinian conflict affects the lives of those in the region. As one of Israel's leading directors, he was asked whether he feels an obligation towards telling the story of the country. I do feel an obligation to tell stories that have to do with my life, and Israel is very central in my life. I do have the need to, to, to explain Israel and to kind of process my thoughts about Israel. I'm lucky enough to have my films uh, understood by audiences outside of Israel. I think if someone tells a story that's really authentic and close to him, eventually it does become authentic and close to audiences no matter if they're Israeli, no matter gay, gay or straight, no matter Jewish or non-Jewish. Another upbeat film, this one about twinkle-toed Israeli and Palestinian children, also captivated the audience. Dancing in Jaffa sees renowned ballroom dancer Pierre Dulane teaching the children to put aside their cultural differences and trust each other to dance as one. <laughs> Audience members retreated to their own dance classes ahead of the film's screening. The UK Jewish Film Festival's managing director, Michael Etherton, said it was a bumper year for the event. We've had our biggest ever festival and we've had record audiences, so we're thrilled. We've had, I think, 83 screenings. Uh, actually, 93 screenings, 83 films um, from all many, many countries, 20 countries, and all kinds of genres. You know, we've had documentaries, shorts, and features, and it's been a very exciting year. How many people would lay down their lives for a stranger? The tear-jerking documentary Besa the Promise highlighted an untold story of how Muslim Albanians saved nearly 2,000 Jews in World War II. Photographer Norman Gershwin went to the Balkan country to meet the families who kept their Bessa, or word of honor, to protect the Jews from the advancing Nazi army. The film's producer, Jason Williams, said the unknown story was one that had to be told. The fortitude of these people in the face of absolute mortal danger to stand up for Jewish lives was just utterly exceptional in the history of Europe during the Second World War. So that's it. The 17th UK Jewish Film Festival comes to a close with record numbers in attendance this year. Organizers say they will have a short break before working on next year's film festival in December. I'm Cindy Martin for JN1 in London.